Boxing USA Network. Double-jointed porn queens, flesh-peddling slime balls, demented peeping toms, strange love desires that mock the institution of marriage. Get ready to wallow in a pit of sin tonight only on USA's Real Wild Cinema. <laughs> nothing more than a night out on the town, just jitterbugging with my friends and getting liquored up. But I know what this kind of behavior can lead to. In fact, it's every girl's greatest fear, getting drunk and hooking up with some thin mustache Lothario who whispers sweet nothings in your ear. Next thing I know, I'm being coaxed into taking nudie photos, and that's a springboard to that harder stuff, white slavery. I've been there, and the way out is harder than the way in. Although I kind of like the white slavery part. But the girls in tonight's films weren't as fortunate. Take 1963's Scum of the Earth. It's about creepy photographers who snatch nude shots from unsuspecting models. Like that's hard to do. The scum filmmakers David Friedman and Herschel Gordon Lewis wanted it to appear like a sleazy stag reel. And they succeeded beyond their wildest dreams. We'll talk to Herschel later in the show. But for now, open wide for Scum of the Earth. Forget about Scum of the Earth. How about Scum on the Teeth? What was with that super close-up shot of that guy's mouth? You're damaged merchandise and this is a fire sale! That film turned out to be a cautionary tale, all right. Warning of the dangers of bad dental hygiene. Next. Real Wild Cinema uncovers the root of all evil, or more accurately, the sticky buds of all evil. Marijuana's called a murder weed. Don't you ever touch it again. One innocent puff, and this dumb blonde finds herself smoking pork in a cat house. Next on Real Wild Cinema's Pit of Sin. Party at your house. Party at our house. Party at our house. Happy hour. Coming in April on USA Network. You don't have to be alone tonight. Just call me. Pick up the phone. I'm live. Let's party. We can have a really good time. When you call me. Pick up the phone. This call is free. Call 1-800-679-8880. 1-800-679-8880. If love is your question, Psychic Talk has your answer. Are you seeing two women right now? Oh, man. Well, you think that they won't know? They're psychics. Carrying on these two relationships, you are looking at fatherhood. Is someone pregnant now? Uh, there's no way you could get that right on the money like that. About your husband, he's a very dominating man, isn't he? Yes. He likes to keep you subservient because he's afraid of losing you. Right. I am very impressed to hear um, the ladies be right on target really amazes me. I just wanted to see if you have been unfaithful to me. You already know. You've already had the evidence there. <laughs> yes, he is. Wow, you guys are good. Is there a baby in his life? Because I just pick up that he begged her to have this baby. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that they're saying to you right now is Everything true? Everything is true. Wow. This, this is incredible. I can't believe it. Everyone who calls will get a free psychic reading with our gifted psychics. It's free, so call now. Call 1-800-360-8638. Be 
heat. Wow. With an all new Sunday night heat. Bring it on, baby. First, do you believe in ghosts? Whoever well, said ghosts aren't real. Seeing is believing. Something weird is happening. An all new Pat Blue. Then he's got the moves. She's got the motive. She is guilty. An all new silk stockings. And everyone wants Nikita. You'll join us whether you like it or not. So why not have her cloned? The little girl was me. An all new La Femme Nikita. Sunday night heat. This Sunday at 8. Only on USA. In our next feature, Wages of Sin, I learn a valuable lesson. Prostitution can ruin a girl's reputation and cause problems with self-esteem. Oh yeah, and it's a sin. But what strikes me as perhaps the most sinful is how our star Judy can wear that Dairy Queen style bonnet with a straight face. We also learn that marijuana is even worse than cocaine and how it can lead even the most innocent young lady to debauchery and murder, or at the very least flashing her garters and not keeping time to the music while dancing. Time to pay the wages of sin. I love when people have names with adjectives stuck to the front of them, like Fat Pearl. They should have stayed consistent with this theme and done it with all the characters, like Seductive Tony or Ignorant Judy. Trouble with that is Tony becomes villainous and Judy gets more of an education than she bargained for. But cheer up, Pearl's still fat. Next on Real Wild Cinema, we expose a peeping Tom that apparently has been everywhere except my house. You are no longer safe, ladies, even in the privacy of your homes. For this fiend is liable to be anywhere, under your mattress hiding in the folds of your shower curtain. Confess, you're having more fun with sin than you ever thought possible. Stay with us, our guest Herschel Gordon-Lewis is next. Start making new friends and relationships tonight. Just pick up the phone and call the hottest new meeting place around, The Party Zone. You don't need a fancy computer to meet great new people. Just pick up your phone and dial 1-800-555-7799. To go one-on-one -on -one with attractive singles from around the corner or around the country. It's so fun and so easy. Get into the zone. Call 1-800-555-7799. This call is free. Must be 21 or older. Now you can have your very own cellular phone absolutely free. Finally, a cell phone I can afford. No deposit, no credit check, no turndowns. Just one great phone totally free. Now you can have the security and convenience of your own free cellular phone. This is definitely the way to go. Just one great phone absolutely free. Call now. Call 1-800-854-2519. Come, join me. We can relax and enjoy the evening together. Call now and experience it. I can't wait to hear your voice. Try it for free. This could be the start of a very stimulating relationship. Mmm, baby, this is the only number you need. Call me now. Adults only, please. My name is Bernhard Langer, and for a long time my life was golf, golf, and more golf. I'd won seven tournaments in one year, was ranked number one in the world, I had a beautiful young wife, but there was something missing. Until one day another golfer helped me find the way to a personal relationship with God. I discovered the personal faith that changed my life forever and brought me more fulfillment than any golf victory ever could. If there's something missing from your life, you should read this wonderful book. It's called Power for Living, and it's yours absolutely free. It provides real and lasting solutions to life's everyday problems by leading you toward a personal relationship with God, a relationship that saved my life. To get your free copy of Power for Living, just call this toll-free number. There's no risk, no obligation, and no one will call. Call today and begin to change your life for the better. We swing harder! Bill Patrick checks out the swings on the PGA Tour. Who's hot, who's not, what's coming up, or what went down. We swing harder! Tee it up with the PGA Tour. Today at 8, 7 Central, on USA. Welcome back to my swanky apartment here at Real Wild Cinema. 
Tonight's films were part of the moralistic propaganda our moms and dads were taught about the horrors of VD drugs and prostitution. No wonder they're so screwed up. Tonight's guest has done his fair share of polluting our parents' minds. He's the great Herschel Gordon Lewis, maker of Scum of the Earth, which we saw earlier. Hey, Herschel. Hi, Sandra. Thank you for being here. I'm glad to be here. I want to talk a little bit about, um, about your movie, mm -hmm. Scum, your beautiful Scum of the Earth. Now, that was a, a chronicle of the porn industry. Was that what that was about, That's what really? it was, yes. An evil older man who runs this ring and, uh, and attracts young girls on false premises. Scum of the Earth was really a transitional film because, first of all, it was the last movie we ever made in black and white. We, we had an option there. We had already been making movies in color, but we felt to give this that documentary overtone to make it look more uh, like something that was happening instead of fiction, Right. that black and white was the way to go. To capture the feeling mm -hmm. capture a little the feeling. bit more. Yeah. Um, morals to the story. Well, it was a morality play. Was it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, absolutely. And it comes to a classic moral ending where the, the heavy uh, runs into the surf there in uh, Miami Beach and sticks this pistol in his mouth and fires. In fact, we borrowed one technique from an ancient movie. We had one frame of red when he fires the gun. Quite a few of your films had manipulative power figures. I mean, taking advantage of naive women. Was that something that you related to personally? Or no, I thought it was a good box office, that's all. Yeah. Uh, that was something that neither gender seemed to object to. <laughs> <laughs> At least that was true in those days. Yeah. Today yeah. they both object. Right, right. Only because it's politically correct, that's though. That's right. We Actually, were we still all love it. But we were never politically correct. No, Under no. no circumstances could we be accused of and that. And I'd like to keep it that way. Herschel, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with you, okay? Okay, I'm here. We'll be right back with more from Herschel after this clip from Peeper Tom. Herschel, did you ever look back at your films and say they're so bad, they're good? <laughs> Great question. We did not make movies for critics. I would say we had a rollicking good time, and whether they were good or bad, you see, is uh, that's an academic way of judging. Right. We never set out to make a picture like Ishtar, which you see has technically no problems, but on the box office it was a big problem. Right. Our pictures were probably loaded with technical imperfection. Two words you'd never hear on our set were, take two. <laughs> I love it. But they were designed to entertain the audience. And I, the reason I don't apologize for them now, and I didn't apologize for them then, I didn't apologize then because theaters booked them. I don't apologize for them now because here we are talking about them this much later and how many pictures of that vintage... And they're, and they're classics. Are, well, I, that's... No, well, it's true. I mean, that's why people love the show. They love to watch the stuff because, you know, it's uh, history. If you call it a classic, I won't argue with you at I all. know you won't. You better not. So what, what's your favorite film genre? Is it the, uh, the road show, the gore, the nudie cuties? Oh, I think like? the, uh, the gore films had the greatest challenge, and the reason they did is we could never follow up with the same act. If we ripped the eyeball out of a girl once, we couldn't do it a second time. We had to think of another... Yeah, you had to send her home. Or, <laughs> or put her in the, in the foundation of the building. Or kill her, yeah. either way. Just take it all the way, you know. But those were the greatest challenge. Those were also the most fun. And sometimes some of the results we got were bizarre. So... Uh, I loved making those things, and when I look at the, I guess you call them the natural descendants that we have today, such as Halloweens and right. Fridays the 13th and so on, I say, gee, look what we did. You now, eventually these things probably would have come bubbling to the surface, but we simply uh, expedited the That's procedure. right, you speeded it along. Which and may be good, may be bad, but we don't apologize for it. Well, I think you probably had a little more of a sense of humor about it back then, too. I think oh, you took yeah. it a little less seriously, which... That we weren't auteurs. We, many pictures, we shot these without putting our own names on them. Well, there you we go. We invented names. You really believed in your work. I love it. Have you ever made a cameo in one of your films? Yes, accidentally, in a movie called A Taste of Blood. I had a situation where I needed a... Uh, a, a limey accent for a sailor on a boat. Uh. And we had hired this fellow, and uh, we were down at the docks. We shot that in Miami. Right. And the longshoremen, who were a fairly surly crew, uh, said, you guys got one hour, and then we're going to dump your gear in the ocean. I said, uh-oh, this fellow didn't show up. So nobody else there could fake the accent. I said, all right. So we had a fellow whose hair was down his back. I said, give me some of your hair. 
and I made a mustache, and I pulled a stocking cap over my head. And I had, evening mighty, ain't a fit not for the devil. <laughs> So I made that appearance. I said, well, I'm safe. Nobody will even know. Oh, that's brilliant. And we were mixing this sound on this picture, and one of the technicians says, what are you doing in that? I said, oh, no. My if he recognizes me, everybody yeah. will. I'm out of the business. <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> Herschel, what a pleasure it's been to have you on my show. Ask me any time, Sandra. I'm going to ask you many times. Thanks, Herschel. Beautiful. Next on Real Wild Cinema, an anal retentive prostitute who's careful about curse words. There's a very dirty word for what you are. And a very dirty group of people running a very dirty business. More pimps and sluts right after this message. Pick up the phone tonight and call me. Call me. This call is free. 1-800-336-GIRL. 1-800-336-GIRL. These folks are getting an actual free psychic reading, and you can too. She told me that I was raised by my grandmother. Which was? It's true. She knew I was seeing two people, and I didn't even tell her that. She knew I'd be starting a new job this week. And it's true? You are starting a new job? On uh, Monday morning. She mentioned about a move to Europe, um, and that normally would have been outlandish, except for last week I accepted a position in Rome. So I'm moving to Europe. He said that I was moving, changing addresses, going to Tallahassee, and that's where I'm going, Tallahassee. He said Tallahassee? To Tallahassee. You're kidding. No. He actually nailed the city that you were moving to? He nailed the city I was moving. Too. I didn't believe it at first. I've called before and it was a bunch of sucky ones, but this was cool. It was just beautiful. She gave you so much hope for the future. Yeah. Why is it making you cry? It's so real. It felt so real. The other ones are fake. This one is amazing. This one is good. Call now for a free psychic reading and find out how to get $250 worth of free readings every month. Call 1-800-277-9879. You don't have to be alone tonight. Don't be lonely. Just call me. Let's party. Pick up the phone. We can have a really good time. Pick up the phone. Can you call me? Pick, Pick up, up the, the phone. phone. This call is free. Call 1-800-289-0000. 1-800-289-0000. When the going gets tough, the tough get Tuesday. USA's Super Action Tuesday. With movies that rock. Movies that roll. Movies that take their toll. This Tuesday, it's Emilio, Charlie, Kiefer, and Lou. We're going to have a lot of fun now. In the film that put the wild in Wild West. He's killing more people in smallpox. Young Gun. Super Action Tuesday. Only on USA. Our next film is about prostitution. Big surprise. There are more hooker roles in the movies than there are phone sex ads in a men's magazine. Sexual problems, guys? Call me at 1-800-555-SPLURGE. Our film from 1955 has at least two titles, The Flesh Merchant and The Wild and Wicked. And it's about a young girl who becomes an artist model. Before you can say fur clogs, she winds up as the main attraction at a gentleman's club. Watch closely, girls. This could happen to you. Well, Paula certainly had a couple of issues about cleanliness, didn't she? It was dirty business this and lousy filth that. Thank God the cop came to her emotional rescue. He arrived to clean the place out. Next on Real Wild Cinema, a good doctor who needs a little practice on his bedside manner. Sally, that first baby didn't hurt you a bit. You can have a dozen more if you want to. And Bob, you'll be pleased to know that there's no trace of your old VD. I, too, get brutally honest when Real Wild Cinema returns after this. Now you can have your very own cellular phone absolutely free. Finally, a cell phone I can afford. No deposit, no credit check, no turndowns. Just one great phone totally free. 
Now you can have the security and convenience of your own free cellular phone. This is definitely the way to go. With Quintel Cellular, there's no activation fee, and your cellular phone is free. Now I'm back in business. Compact memory features. It has everything you need or want in your cellular phone. Call now and find out how you can get your very own Quintel cellular phone for free. There's no deposit, no credit check, no turndowns, no activation fee. Just one great phone, absolutely free. Call now. Call 1-800-720-3559. That's 1-800-408-5400. It's free, so call now. Adults only, please. Call us now. Happy Hour on USA Network, coming in April. Trevor's been taking Sentinel for a whole year. Our vet says Sentinel prevents deadly heartworms, and it prevents flea infestations, even in summer. Trevor loves the great beefy taste, and I'm going to save $10. I called the Sentinel toll-free number to get their money-saving coupon. I'll get $10 off when I buy 12 doses of Sentinel from our vet. Only Sentinel protects against heartworms and fleas with a single monthly tablet. And Sentinel is backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied with Sentinel, we'll solve the problem, replace the product, or refund your money. Now, get $10 off when you buy 12 doses of Sentinel. Just call the toll-free number on your screen, and we'll send you a coupon worth $10 at your veterinarian's office. Dogs should be tested for heartworm prior to use. Digestive skin and neurological side effects may occur in a small percentage of treated dogs. Most dogs had no side effects. Call now and save $10. Ask your vet and protect the dog you love. Sentinel means protection. One monstrous adventure after another. This is going to be fun. Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, and Xeno, Warrior Princess. Weekdays starting at 6 on USA. Because of Eve was one of those legendary roadshow movies that sold sex and disguised it as education about VD. It was made in 1948. The story of an engaged couple with questionable pasts. More importantly, this is one of the very few films of its time to actually show full frontal nudity. Of course, Everything was covered by oozing sores. But still, you took what you could get in 1948. Next, the free swinging 60s when sinning became a hip lifestyle. They hadn't made the big time, but they made out okay with every fringy female freak who flung herself at them. Stay with us. There's lots more real wild cinema coming up. March in like a lion, out like a... Moby Dick, March 30th at 9 on USA. Pick up the phone tonight and call me. Call me. I'm free. Call me. Don't be alone tonight. Just call me. Call me. I'm free. This call is free. 1 800 336 Girl. 1 800 336 Girl. If love is your question, Psychic Talk has your answer. Are you seeing two women right now? Oh, man. Well, you think that they won't know? They're psychics. Carrying on these two relationships, you are looking at fatherhood. Is someone pregnant now? Uh, no way you could get that right in the money like that. About your husband, he's a very dominating man, isn't he? Yes. He likes to keep you subservient because he's afraid of losing you. Right. Mm -hmm. I am very impressed to hear um, the ladies be right on target really amazes me. I just wanted to see if he has been unfaithful to me. You already know. You've already had the evidence there. <laughs> yes, he is. Wow, you guys are good. Is there a baby in his life? Because I just picked up that he begged her to have this baby. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah. Huh. 
<laughs> Everything that they're saying to you right now is Everything true. Everything is true. Wow. This, this is incredible. I can't believe it. Everyone who calls will get a free psychic reading with our gifted psychics. It's free, so call now. Call 1-800-360-8638. Come, join me. We can relax and enjoy the evening together. Call now and experience it. I can't wait to hear your voice. Try it for free. This could be the start of a very stimulating relationship. Mmm, baby, this is the only number you need. Call me now. Adults only, please. Unnatural Acts. Take off your clothes, Nikita. Carry out. You'll fit in nicely to our work. Breed natural born killers. He's a boy. He's not a boy, Tom. And the next batch may be hatched by Nikita. You are here for a very special reason. The future is going to be a mother. Let me go! An all new La Femme Nikita. Sunday night at 10, 9 central on USA. Party at your house. Party at our house. Party at our house. Happy hour. Coming in April on USA Network. You will join the real wild cinema fan club. You will be dazzled by a catalog of hundreds of uncut, uncensored, outrageous movies that we can't show on TV. Send five dollars for a membership card, catalog, and newsletter, or order the real wild cinema T-shirt for fifteen dollars plus four ninety-five shipping and handling, and get your membership for free. Send check or money order to Real Wild Cinema, PO Box six five zero seven three, Seattle, Washington nine one five five. You will join the real wild cinema fan club. Warning, our feature trailers for tonight may raise blood pressure and cause heightened feelings of sexual anxiety. So if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. No further warning is necessary. There was this little group, and like every little group, there were these little groupies. Sometimes it was a groove, but sometimes it was a bummer. The group. They hadn't made the big time, but they made out okay with every frenzy female freak who flung herself at them. The groupies. Urchin camp followers of the rock age. They're addicted to the screaming sounds of now and to the dudes who do it. Group and groupies is a game of sharing played by the givers and the takers. The rules aren't rigid and some are the winners and some are the losers. <laughs> Barbara was a winner from the first row. She had all three, looks, money, and class. Duke was the leader. The chicks all dug him. He dug them back, one by one. Dolly thought it could be something wonderful and forever, but she was just this gig's back warmer. Janice and Mike proved that love is blind, even colorblind. But, the butt of all bad jokes, he thought flower children were only for plucky. And nobody ever told him, you don't have to rape a groupie, you just have to ask. These are the winners and the losers in a violent, screwed up world underscored by ear splitting decibels. With losers, it's a way of life. Bummer. A far out trip through a hard rock tunnel. Bummer. Rated R. The supernatural and the real clash in a world of horror. Your power will be equal to ours. You will possess all the riches of the world. But remember that there is still one task you must carry out. Kill Hercules. against the palace. Order all of your archers to man the walls of the palace.
is the shock-studded story of two young men whose sole existence is spent satisfying their weird, warped desires. These are the defilers. Everything they touch is stained. Wealth and leisure afford them every opportunity for every gratification. Every day was a ball, every night a sensual orgy. But even wantons could no longer satisfy their ravenous cravings. Sated with sex, liquor, and drugs, what else could they try in their crazed pursuit of kicks? An innocent young girl provided the answer. Seen, savored, snared, snatched, seduced, stripped, whipped, Further in human indignity would she suffer at the hands of the Defiler, a shattering study of the sick set for shock-proof adults. The Defiler. Well, the baseball caps have arrived and Ajax is waiting for me. It's time to go take some nudie pictures. You know, the kind that sell. And the good news here is, this Sandy is double-jointed. Don't forget to meet me here next week for Real Wild Cinema. Good midnight to ya.